Hey you guys, this is Mr. Mellings, and in this video, we are going to learn how to calculate empirical formulas. Now, in an earlier video, we learned about the differences between molecular formulas and empirical formulas. And in this video, we are going to take it a step further and learn how to calculate empirical formulas. So here are the steps. I'm not going to read through every single step here, but these are the steps to calculate an empirical formula. And what I would do at this point is pause this video and just read through these little steps that you are going to take to calculate an empirical formula and if you follow these steps exactly as you see right here then calculating an empirical formula will be easy but let's use these steps and apply these steps to three different example problems where we have to calculate an empirical formula so let's jump right into example problem number one Okay, so in example problem one, it says to calculate these substances empirical formula, and it says a compound was analyzed and found to contain 13.5 grams of calcium, 10.8 grams of oxygen, and 0.675 grams of hydrogen. What is the empirical formula for this compound? So we have some sort of compound, and we know the masses of each element in the compound, and what we have to do is we have to determine the empirical formula so it says right here step one start with the mass in grams of each element given in the problem so in this problem here we have 13.5 grams of calcium we have 10.8 grams of oxygen and we have 0 0.675 grams of hydrogen Okay, so step one is to start with the mass and grams of each element given in the problem. And so that's what we've done here. We have the grams of each element in this compound here. Step two, it says to convert the mass of each element to moles using the molar mass from the periodic table of elements. So what we have to do with each one of these now is divide by the molar mass of each one of these elements here. So that way we can convert the grams of each element to moles. So we know that one mole of calcium if we look on our periodic table is 40.08 grams we know that one mole of oxygen if we look on our periodic table here is 16.0 grams right if we take a look at oxygen 16.00 grams and if we look on our periodic table we know that one mole of hydrogen is 1.01 grams of hydrogen if we look right here on our periodic table okay so what we end up with right here is going to be 0 0.337 moles of calcium we're going to end up with 0 0.675 moles of oxygen and we're going to end up with 1. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to end up with 0 0.668 moles of hydrogen. All right, so step two, we, uh, we determine the number of moles of each element in the compound. Step three, it says to divide each mole value by the smallest number of moles calculated. So what is the smallest number of moles calculated here? If we look at these three numbers, what is the smallest number? It is 0 0.337. So we're going to divide each one of these by 0 0.337. We'll divide this by 0 0.337. And we're going to divide this by 0 0.337. If we do that, we will end up with one here. We're going to end up with two here. And we're going to end up with 1.98 right here, which if you take a look right here, we can go ahead and round this up to a 2. If it's that close to a whole number, we can go ahead and round it up to a 2 or to that whole number. All right, so if we take a look, we've just, uh, we've just divided each mole value by the smallest number of moles calculated. And we end up with these whole numbers right here, 1, 2, and 2. Well, these values right here are the subscripts for these individual elements. So we will end up with CA1, or simply CA. We will end up with O2, and we're going to end up with H2. And this is going to be our chemical formula. And so CaO2H2 can be rewritten as calcium hydroxide is our empirical formula for this compound. All right, let's take a look at another example. 
All right, in this problem, it says NutraSweet is 57.14% carbon, 6.16% hydrogen, 9.52% nitrogen, and 27.18% oxygen. We have to calculate the empirical formula for NutraSweet. All right, so first thing we have to do is, uh, it says right here, start with the mass and grams of each element given in the problem. If percentages are given, which they are right here, we assume that we have a 100 gram sample. If we have a 100 gram sample and 57.14% of it is carbon, then you guessed it, we have 57.14 grams of carbon. We have 6.16 grams of hydrogen. We've got 9.52 grams of nitrogen. And we have 27 0.18 grams of oxygen. So anytime you're given these percentages here, we're just going to assume we have a 100 gram sample and convert these little percent signs to grams. All right, next thing we need to do if you take a look at step two is we're going to convert each one of these to moles by dividing by the molar mass of each one of these substances. So if we look on our periodic table, we know one mole of carbon is 12.01 grams of carbon. If we take a look right here at carbon, We'll see that 12.01 is its molar mass. We know one mole of hydrogen, if we look on our periodic table, is 1.01 grams of hydrogen. If we look right here, we'll find that molar mass. If we take a look on our periodic table, we know one mole of nitrogen is 14.01 grams of nitrogen. If we take a look at nitrogen, it's right here. It's 14.01 grams. And if we take a look at oxygen, one mole of oxygen is going to be 16.00 grams of oxygen. And we can see that value right here. Okay, so we put this into our calculator. We'll end up with 4.758 moles of carbon. We're going to end up with 6.09 moles of hydrogen. We're going to end up with 0. 680 moles of nitrogen and right here we're going to end up with 1.699 moles of oxygen okay so that's what we did right here okay we converted the mass of each element to moles using our periodic table and in step three we need to divide each mole value by the smallest number of moles calculated so which of these four values is the smallest it's going to be this one right here. So we're going to divide each one of these by 0 0.680. We'll divide this one by 0 0.680. We'll divide this by 0 0.680. And we're going to divide this by 0 0.680. If we do that, we will end up with 7 here. We're going to end up with 9 here. We're going to end up with 1 here. And we're going to end up with 2.5 right here. So what happens when you have something, when you have your mole values that end in 0.5, is that we have to get rid of this decimal right here. We have to make this a whole number and we simply just can't round this up to a three. When you have step three ending in 0.5, like it says right here, what we need to do is we need to multiply each one of these mole values by two. So if we multiply this by 2, we're going to get 14. If we multiply this by 2, we're going to get 18. If we multiply this by 2, we're going to get 2. And if we multiply this by 2, we will get a whole number, which is 5. And so now these are our subscripts for this compound. If you take a look, we have C14. C14. We're going to have H18. We're going to have N2, and we're going to have O5, O5, whoops, O5. So what is our chemical, uh, what is the uh, empirical formula for NutraSweet? Well, it looks like it's C14, we're running out of room here, H18, N2, O5. So that is going to be our empirical formula for NutraSweet. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, in this third and final example, it says a sample of magnetite contained 50.4 grams of iron and 19.2 grams of oxygen. We have to calculate the empirical formula. So step one is to start with the mass and grams of each element, which we have. We have 50.4 
grams of iron and we have 19.2 grams of oxygen. Second step, if you take a look, is to convert each one of these grams to moles using the molar masses we see from the periodic table of elements. And one mole of iron, if we take a look, is 55.85 grams of iron. One mole of oxygen, if we take a look on our periodic table, is going to be 16.00 grams of oxygen. We'll put this in our calculator and we're going to end up with 0 0.902 moles of iron. And we're going to end up with 1.2 moles of oxygen. All right, so we just converted the mass. We're at step two. We just converted the mass of each element using the molar masses from the periodic table. Now step three, it says to divide each mole value by the smallest number of moles calculated. So what is the smallest value of these two values right here? It's going to be 0 0.902. And we're going to divide each one of these by 0 0.902 because it's the smallest of the two mole values. And so we'll end up with one here. And we're going to end up with 1.33 here. However, our empirical formula cannot simply be Fe. O 1.33, the subscripts have to be whole numbers. So how do we get rid of this decimal here? How do we turn this into a whole number? We cannot just round this. It says right here that if one of the solutions from step three ends in 0 0.3 or ends in 0.33, we're going to multiply each one of these subscripts by three. If we do that, we will end up with a three here and we're going to end up with a four here. And so our empirical formula for magnetite is Fe3, Fe3, O4, right, O4. This subscript of 4 here corresponds to this O right here, okay? So what is the empirical formula of magnetite? It looks like it's going to be Fe3, O4. All right, so that's how we calculate empirical formulas, some fun stuff. Uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right-hand corner, and that will subscribe you to my channel. And please feel free to leave any comments or questions down in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys found this helpful.